Yo oh guys, what's going on? Shane or Shanadian here. Uh, so obviously today, this looks a little bit different than usual. I'm going to try this out. I got a little tripod, so we're going to try this setup today. But I have a really big surprise for you guys. I live in Washington State, so it is really cold here. Um, I wouldn't be able to die through the winter on most occasions because I used to use a wetsuit. Um, but I made an investment for, for this channel, and I got a dry suit. So it cost me about $3,000 to get this dry suit, but I'm going to go get it and show you guys. One second. All right, guys. So this is my dry suit. Um, like I said, it's worth about it's worth about three thousand dollars. It's pretty expensive. It was definitely an investment, but um, it makes it so I can go diving all year round. Um, I can go ice diving. You know, it's it's just awesome. It's nice and thick. I can wear what I have on right now underneath it, and um, yeah, I can just go in the cold water. So right now the water's about like thirty, between thirty and forty degrees. And with this baby, I can just put it on right over this stuff um, with some extra socks and you know, some gloves and a hood and jump in that water and make some cool videos for you guys. So that's gonna be it for the intro and I'll see you guys when I'm getting in the water. Peace. What the hell was the thing? I don't know what this is. So to give you the rundown right now, I'm pretty cold still. Mostly my face, I can't really feel my lips. That's probably why I sound stupid, but you know. Um But uh yeah, it's a little bit hard. The water's going pretty fast. The dress is working really well though, like when I add air to it, it does keep me warm, so it is working. Just my face is cold because I don't have anything on it, but that's normal. So, oh yeah, let's get back to it. Heck yeah. Uh, Oh, this is so old. 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 Oh, this is so old.
Yo guys, what's going on? I just got out of the water. Um, just finished diving. So I just wanted to come back and like show you guys what it actually looked like once I finish. Uh, I have a lot of stuff that I have to wear to keep myself warm and you know perform the dive properly without getting hurt. So obviously I have my dive computer right here. It's on my wrist. It's just like a little watch, but it tells me everything I need to know, like temperature, how long I've been down, how deep I am. Um, if I'm coming up too quick, it'll beep at me. Um, and then we got the actual dry suit portion, which is, it's it's really nice, it's like obviously brand new, it's pretty thick, um, but yeah, I have my gloves, usually gloves will pop on the end right here, and that's what you'll see in the videos is my gloves All right there, I just took those off because they're kind of hard to maneuver with, but um, yeah, so that's that, and then obviously my tank, the normal setup with the BC and regulator and all that stuff, um, but yeah, and then the actual tank connects to the dry suit right here. And I can add air by just pushing right here, and it adds air to my suit, makes me all warm, big and fat, lets me float. Um, and then to subtract, or like to release air, I just throw this up, kind of crouch down a little bit, and uh, all the air gets released out of this little valve right here. So yeah, I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm obviously got my hood. Sorry, the hood um, keeps my face as warm as it can. Obviously, this portion gets cold, but the rest of me stays warm. So yeah, I just wanted to come back and show you guys, you know how I can actually do this and like how it's possible for me to dive in this and possibly go ice diving in the future. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the few things we did find. It wasn't too much stuff. Um, I was just trying to do, you know, like a test dive and then show you guys out, like show you guys what this is like and what it looks like and uh, all the benefits of it. So yeah, we found a few cool things and I'll get into that and I'll show you guys those things. So I'll see you over there. Peace. All right, guys, I'm just going to take this off really quick and then we'll get into all the cool stuff. What's going on, guys? I'm back. Um, so we just got changed, obviously, as you can see. Got the dry suit off, um, put it away, it's in the car. And I'm gonna go through and show you the few things we found. We found a, a good amount of trash that uh, I showed you, of course, but I threw it all away already. I don't really like to, I'm gonna try to stop showing the trash in there. Just cause, you know, we'll, we'll show the cooler stuff and I'll make sure the trash gets uh, thrown away or put where it has to go. But with that, with that being said, um, let's jump into it. I have it on the ground right here. I'm gonna try to do the outro like this today. I'm just trying to change everything up for this video, but we found two golf balls Let's see right there. You guys can see that we found two golf balls. Um, that's pretty fun I love finding golf balls. Honestly one of my favorite things to find. It's pretty cool and then so we found um, And then we found a cozy um, so it says Mountainside paving on it. So obviously I'm guessing it's a paving company if you guys I don't know if it'll show you come on But it says mountainside paving. It's a uh, yeah, it's just a little cozy for your drink. Probably a beer. Might have fallen out of somebody's tube or something. But yeah, we got that. And then for the bigger things that I'm really not sure, these are the last two things that we found, but it looks like two like glass containers maybe. I haven't opened them yet. So I'm gonna open them and come back to you guys. I'll do it. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have these glass containers. So there's there's one. I'm guessing they're both, they, they both are the same, I think. But like, so we have this glass container. And I don't know what is in it. It looks like some kind of like food or something. I'm gonna try to open it. Whoa. Oh, it's sealed. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Okay, well I can't open it. Um so I can't open it, it's actually sealed. But as you guys can see, I don't even know here. I'm trying to get a better view for you guys. You see that? Like what what is that? It looks like there's, I don't know, like there's a bunch of seeds in there and like spices and something, but like, I'm not too sure, honestly. I don't know, but they're both the same, so this and the other one. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you. I also found these really cool sunglasses. They're super old, um, a little bit broken, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that too. I forgot they were on the floor over there, but um, something super cool that I found. Um, obviously, there's one lens missing, so they're they're pretty old, 
Um, and this one's just completely dirty, but it's really cool to find like old sunglasses and stuff like that. Just any kind of glasses are really cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I um, hope you enjoyed, even though it was a little bit different this time. Wasn't that much treasure hunting, just showing you guys my dry suit and, you know, the equipment I'm going to be using in the next few months to um, continue to dive through the winter. But uh, hopefully we can get some cool videos coming up in that dry suit, which will allow me to dive when it's snowing or really icy or something like that. Um, but, yeah, we did find a, cool, a few cool things, the golf balls, the jars, and the sunglasses, which are all really awesome clean up the environment which is honestly my favorite thing to do got a bunch of that the um cans and some bottles out but um yeah that's gonna wrap it up for me today hope you all enjoyed the video once again and i'll see you in the next one peace this could be us so back to what i was saying